Hey, what's up, Fit Fam? It's Coach Russo here with You'll Be Fit Forever. Joining me for today's workout is my mother, Kitty Russo. Say hi. Hi. As you can see, she brought her friend, Sarah, her workout partner. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Thanks for joining us. Hashtag quarantine life. All right, so let's go ahead and start marching in place. Arms and legs, arms and legs. Now, today, this is going to be a full workout, so you do not need to run it through twice. There will be two breaks, and if at the first break you feel like the workout is a little too easy, you can go ahead and jump to the red shirt video. If at the second break you feel like the workout is a little too easy, you can go ahead and jump to the red shirt or the black shirt video, depending on what you feel like, okay? Arms and legs, sponsored also by America today. So what we're looking at is upper body strength training. We have two sets of dumbbells. We got five pounds, we got eight pounds. Some people only have twos or ones. That is okay. Ideally though, we're gonna work up to five pound dumbbells, if not eight pound dumbbells eventually. So today, today what we're learning about posture. Okay, posture is not a static state. You're not just in one posture. All right, let's go punches right here. Come on, punches, punches. Let's go punches, so ones and two arms like Static is not, posture is not a static position, okay? Posture changes, you have a standing posture, a seated posture, a walking posture, and as we'll learn when we're working out today, you have workout postures. They're very, very important for folks. Form is more important than anything else. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Okay, good, now she's gonna go uppercuts right here, so left arm in front, right arm in front, left arm in front, right arm in front. Good. All right, let's keep working those uppercuts. Breathe. Breathe. All right, up next for the one, we're gonna go pivot. So you're gonna pivot and reach, pivot and reach, pivot. Now you wanna make sure you're turning your toe over, right? Twisting that hip, getting that punch in through and through. Don't stand too close, because you might get punched in the face. I know, right? So I will repeat myself, folks. You know I like to repeat myself. How you do the exercise is more important than what you do. People love to do these extremely complicated exercises, but they're not using the right muscles. They don't have the right posture. So here at You'll Be Fit Forever, we work posture, we work proper muscles, and we like to focus on how you do things more than what you do, okay? All right, so that completes the warm-up. Breathe. Our body stretches. So let's bring your hands behind your neck. And you're going to pull your elbows back here. Now what you do is you're going to bend your knees, right? Lift your rib cage slightly and pull your elbows back. Breathe and stretch. As you can see, my mom, she's tilting her ribs. Do not flare your rib cage. You want to arch your back. Tuck underneath. Tuck. Other way. There you go. Welcome to live training, folks. What's up? People, they prefer this, right? It's not just me doing everything perfectly nice. All right, you're going to reach up with both arms. Now it's called pencil. So bring your feet together. Lock your knees. Tuck your hips underneath and stretching up. The reason you want to tuck underneath is you want to have a long lower back. Okay, we don't round those lower backs. You also, in this position, you can see my mom tightening her neck. You want to loosen that neck up as much as possible, relaxing the neck. Okay, breathe in with me, inhale, and we're going to exhale, dive into the pool, coming down, touching the toes, touching the toes. So let me ask you this. What do you think is the most important upper body muscle? Er, coach, it's the back. Yes, your back muscles are more important. We like to work what's called two to one, two to one. So twice as many back exercises for one chest exercise. Okay. So from here, we're gonna work next. We're gonna work the kneeling lunge stretch. So I'm just gonna come down. She's gonna come down on one knee. Nice lunge position. If you can't do that, remember you're gonna bring your hands down first, coming into lunge. Okay. So here, let her walk. She's gonna tuck her hips underneath. Tuck. There you go. And reach up. There you go. Relax your neck, relax. All right, you're gonna breathe in, inhale. You're gonna exhale, hands down inside the feet for a baby runner's lunge. If you're asking why are we stretching your legs for an upper body workout, because you need to stretch your legs every day. So she's gonna come back up, coming back up, and then she's going to switch legs without using her hands, ideally is the trick here. So switching legs without using your hands. Very nice, breathing in, tuck those hips. Tuck, 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 good. Okay, breathe in, and exhale, dive, hands down inside the feet. Nice. Looking good. All right, now from here, what she's gonna do, she's gonna bring her right leg back into crawl, so step your right leg back, crawl. We're gonna go right into bird dog, little core activation, so left arm out. Nope, left arm, there you go, right leg. So a very common mistake is that hip is gonna twist, you wanna keep your hip down, 
Necks relaxed, perfect example of posture, right? Posture, lock this knee, I like to pull the toe back, good. Like we talked about yesterday's video, long, so someone's pulling your arm, pulling your leg apart, good. And relax, okay, switching sides. Right arm, left leg hold. See, she made that correction with her hips, pretty good. I might, I'm kind of blocking her, sorry. You guys can see it over there. Good, 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 good. Mm-hmm, very nice. All right, so from here, we're gonna go on to our backs, okay? We're gonna go on to our backs. So you're gonna roll over onto your back. Now, at all points today, I want you guys to keep your neck relaxed. So we're gonna work right here. This is an isometric, you're gonna lay on your back. Isometric into the ground. So you're gonna bend your elbows, right? I want you to push your elbows into the ground as hard as you can for six seconds. Ready, and go. Push, one, two, three, four, five and six relax sarah you tighten your neck too much i know she actually my mom actually corrected it mid-workout so that was good let's do it again so breathe in exhale you're going to push in squeeze your shoulder blades together the harder you push into the ground the better for your back muscles okay all right and relax all right next one up we're going to make a gun now it's called shoot the gun. So she's gonna have her arms straight up. Your arms are straight up. The gun is just a little pointer fingers. And you're gonna reach up towards the ceiling with your hands, reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up. You're gonna hold, and then you're gonna relax down, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then you're gonna repeat that, reaching up. Good. Back down, and you're gonna repeat this, okay? Keep repeating, shooting the gun. So we sit a lot, right? Drive, computer, work, chair. And exercises like this for the back are gonna help our posture, help strengthen those muscles that when we sit, just sort of caveman forward. All right, let's keep going, we'll shoot the gun. All right, and relax. So now shoot the gun is prepped for cradle. So you're gonna bring your hands underneath your neck. Okay, now you're gonna bring your elbows towards the ceiling. Now you're gonna shoot the gun. So you're gonna push your elbows forward and make a cradle. So you're pushing your elbows forward, so push your elbows forward. There you go. Relax your head. Your head shouldn't even come off the ground. Your head, come your head should not come off the ground when you push the elbows forward. Now from here, breathe in. Now you're going to exhale and crunch and keep your head heavy in your hands. Okay, crunch up. And back down. We've been working with my mom on the crunch. She has. She kind of struggles with the crunches. And let's bring the, and the head together. Okay, look. you gotta, you got to breathe in. Exhale. Lift your ribs up. So lift your ribs up. Lift, crunch up. Crunch. 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 Crunch more, up more, more, more. That's better. And then relax down. So what I'm noticing is what she does is she's jutting her chin forward. So we're gonna have to tuck your chin. So tuck your chin down. Not when you start, when you crunch up. So last set, breathe in, exhale, crunch up, chin down, chin down, chin down, chin down, chin, more, 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 more. There you go. Woo. All right, and relax. All right, up next, we're gonna go into glute bridge. So let's go ahead, feet up into bridge. Now you want your hands up towards the ceiling and we're gonna go over the head. You're gonna stretch the shoulders out. And now I call them mat angels and my mom's gonna kinda of hit the wall, but you're gonna make like a circle motion with your arms. It's okay, just kinda of avoid the wall. You hit Sarah, oh my God. Such an angry workout partner. All right, now go mat angel, opening up, keeping the hips down. You're sliding your arms along the, as you can see, we got Sarah's name right there. What's up, Sarah? All right, mat angel, circling around just like that. That's okay. I know, we got the weights in the way. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna like grab your dumbbells, twos, threes, fours, fives. If you're using tens, good, amen. You're probably gonna have a good workout. All right, so we're gonna put your hips down. Now the first one is just a, it's called neutral grip chest press right here, so you're gonna bend your, no, no, it's chest fly. Neutral grip, your elbows stay in, pushing down, and when you hit the ground, open your chest up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. No, don't, no, 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 with, not with the weights, just your shoulder blades. No, no, don't move the weights, there you go. And then push up. And pushing up and then coming down and you're opening your chest up pushing straight forward and down so like i was sharing yesterday i'm no longer going to count reps we're just going to count time reason is if you want to go a little slower and really work on your posture work on your form is good if you're more comfortable more advanced you can go ahead and speed up so the neutral grip chest press a lot of tricep right a lot of chest okay All right, now you're gonna squeeze the weights together. <coughs> and you're gonna go overhead. It's called a pullover. This one's for your back, folks. Go ahead and watch my mom. 
Don't hit the ground like she's hitting the ground. Oh, don't hit the ground. Mm -mm. Reason is you don't want to bounce off the ground, folks. There you go. And what you do is you're stretching those arms out, back of the arms for a long posture. It's stronger, folks. You watched yesterday's workout strength and lengthen, okay? And those movements apply. Like I was saying, Monday prepares you for Tuesday. That's the whole point. So by now, you might be feeling a little bit of fatigue. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna relax. Now we're gonna go back to the elbow press, right? So static, right here, you're gonna push your elbows into the ground, but you have your weights in your hands, okay? Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Imagine your shoulder blades are getting pinched. There you go. Squeeze, 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 and relax. All right, here we go. Ready, breathe in, exhale, and you're gonna press. And you want, no, no, sorry. Press your elbows into the ground, and you're gonna crush my fingers right here with your shoulders, this way. So you're trying to get the back of your shoulders against the mat. And relax, it's not easy, that's what she just said. And ready, push your elbows in, push, 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 and relax. Okay, we're gonna go to chest press. So your elbows are gonna come out away from your sides, right here, no, no, keep your, keep your arms bent. Elbows are still bent, you're gonna press up with your arms up straight, good. <clears throat> okay, at this point, let's go ahead and work in the glute bridge. So your hips are gonna go up. Hips are up, bridgey, McBridgey, McBridgey, let's go. Very nice, up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, keep working it. So she's counting, you can count, that's fine. Make sure you're breathing, folks, you wanna breathe in. Thing about counting is you actually, you're forced to breathe when you count. It's very hard to count and hold your breath at the same time. All right, we're gonna go back to pullovers, but now we're in bridge. Now keep your hips up, so squeeze them together, reach all the way over, don't bounce them off the ground. And reaching over, there you go, very nice. Long and strong, folks. So you will notice as we do these more and more that there are exercises that we do repeat. No workout is ever the same. I guarantee you that I've been doing this 20 years and I repeated myself once. However, there are movements, I call them fundamentals, that we do a lot, such as the pullover. Relax your head, relax, relax, relax. All right, here we go, last one on our backs. Okay, so you're gonna be, hips are gonna be down, your arms are gonna be straight, okay? Now, arms are straight towards the ceiling, towards the ceiling, there you go. All right, you're gonna open your arms like giving somebody a hug. It's called the chest fly, so open, good, and then squeezing together. Though you are working your pecs, I almost consider this a back exercise because as you're opening your arms, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Very nice. So in the advanced class, we're gonna see some, or sorry, in the red shirt class, we're gonna see a couple different variations of the chest fly in different positions. For us today, this is a great one. It's safe. Let's go ahead, add the hips up into the air. This exercise does improve your posture in terms of that. So hips are up, let's bridge. Down? No, don't let your hands flop down. Good question, good question. All right, so let's do three more, two more, one more and recover. All right, at this point, go ahead, stop the video. We're gonna cut for a water break. If you feel like that was too easy, go ahead, jump to the red shirt video. If this is on track for you, go ahead, stay with this video, okay? So with that, water. All right, and we're back, folks. Glad you decided to stay with the blue shirt. So we said we're on our back, so from here we're gonna work, is we're actually gonna work the sit up, but I want you to use a weight, okay? So let's go ahead, drop to one weight, one dumbbell. Okay, you're gonna grab the dumbbell, right? One hand on each side. She's going legs out straight. You're gonna use the weight for momentum. You're gonna swing the weight first, and then you're gonna sit up. We were working these yesterday, good. And as you roll back, good. And go again. So she's done this to me before. See, as she rolls back, see how she keeps the weight close to her chest? That's exactly what we're gonna do. You don't wanna roll the weight with it over your head. There you go. So keeping the weight through, you're pulling over. She's up leveling to the eight pounders, folks. The big time. Welcome to the big show. I'm gonna sit here just doing a bunch of curls. Yeah, biceps, it's all about me today. Okay, sorry, all right. <laughs> swing and sit up, let's go, swing and sit up. Good, you're like, coach, how many are we gonna do? We're gonna be the last one right here. Now she's gonna regret she grabbed the eight pound dumbbell for the next exercise. Okay, go ahead, sit up and relax. All right, so go ahead, turn, face the camera. So some people have trouble sitting cross leg. Go ahead, if you can sit cross leg, go. If you want a little bit harder or more advanced, I would say you're gonna have your legs out straight in front of you. Just depends on flexibility, depends on, yeah, that's that would be the more flexible pose. So from here, you're still gonna use your one dumbbell, right? You're gonna have it on your chest, okay? When you push up, you're gonna extend your shoulders up, reaching up, okay? And then you'll notice you can't really see, keep going. 
when you come up with a dumbbell, you don't want it going forward. She's doing it right. You're going slightly behind you, okay? Coming up here, exhaling on the way up, shoulder press. Good. Do you regret using the eight pounder? No, I think it's good. All right, she thinks it's good. If you have a two pounder, you may want to do two dumbbells. Also sponsored by dumbbells. Get some, get some five pounders on sale now. <laughs> All right, now look, keep going, keep going. We're gonna work the overhead tricep extension from here. So arms are up straight, and you're gonna bend your elbows, and the weight's gonna go straight down, and straight up, and straight down, and straight up. So she's not bending her elbows all the way, you wanna go all the way down, as far down, yes, and then up. So it's almost to the base of your neck coming up. Ladies, this is for the back of the arms, the most requested area by far, and there's only one way to tone the back of your arms. It's called diet, folks. <laughs> no, but actually, we're working out will build muscle, but it's not necessarily going to trim the body fat. That comes from a healthy diet. More on that later. Don't relax your neck. I know my neck is tight. Okay, good. And recover. Okay, coming back down. Sometimes people ask me, why don't we do three sets of everything? And that's because we like to keep it moving. We're hitting similar muscles in different angles. Okay, with that said, we're going to do a second set of the shoulder press. So she's going to come up. She's going to do a shoulder press. Now we're going to combine the movements. So she's going to come up, shoulder press tricep extension coming down okay don't blur them into one weird movement coming up coming behind the head and down let's keep working that so keep working your tricep extensions folks coming up and coming down now while you're watching this and you're viewing it it's nice to kind of check in with the video check on the form but also just kind of pay attention to what you're doing uh, when i've seen people doing these workouts i notice you're not necessarily watching the camera the whole time i think that's good but every once in a while, you want to check back on, make sure you got the right form. Okay. Good. One more, one more, one more, one more. And relax. Okay, so I'm going to have her rotate. I'll take the dumbbell. Now, we worked this one yesterday. It's coming back, folks. Slight variation. So you're going to bring your feet this way. We're going into crab, okay? So your hands are going to be behind you. And then your hips are going to be up for crab. Now, I happen to know my mom hates crab. It's great. Now, today, we're going to bend our elbows and you're gonna drop your hips down and touch, and then up, one. Bend your elbows, drop your hips down. So this is a dip. Crab dip, oh my God, it could be, that could be the name. Are you supposed to thrust your pelvis? You, you, okay, she asked me if you're supposed to thrust your pelvis. You're supposed to use your arms. There is a glute bridge in clam, in clam, in crab. Sorry, you can do a glute bridge in cram. This is a different exercise. She's working those triceps. Back of the arms, ladies. Three, two, and recover. All right, so let's do a stretch right here. So I'm gonna show you the stretch. Yeah, well, she naturally went to the tricep stretch, so let's do that. Okay, go ahead, stretch it out. <clears throat> Scientifically, you don't usually, well, that's different science. We're making science. All right, this is called diamond. So she's, she's already in diamond. So go ahead, turn your feet so they can see you in the camera. So diamond's this way, your feet are out in front of you. You're gonna externally rotate, which just means turn your toes out. Knees are bent. Now right here, you're gonna breathe in. You're gonna breathe in, and then you're gonna exhale, folding forward, stretching out. Got this from the ballet teacher herself. Shout out. And she's gonna keep working that posture good. Every once in a while, it's nice to kind of get a little stretch in between the workouts. All right, so up next, we're gonna start working out of the crawl position. We're gonna get very, very uh, back focused. So go ahead, and let's get into crawl. You're only gonna need one dumbbell at this point. So you're gonna have that one dumbbell, uno dumbbells for our Spanish speaking. You can use a five. Well, All right, that's fine. You can use a five. All right. So up first is just it's just a it's a crawl. It's just a rowing crawl. So you're here. Yeah, you got it. So watch me. I've been having a lot of rounded back. So my chin's down, chest is up, shoulders are back. Okay. Now grab your weight. Let's start with the left arm, folks. So you're gonna have left arm weight, and you're gonna row up and down, getting those rows. Now look, she's going good tempo. You need a little tempo. Just make sure your neck is. Relax. As you guys stay with me, you're gonna hear me say that a lot. Why? Because people always tense their neck up. I haven't figured it out. Okay, she's still working, she's still working, you're still working, you're still working on my timing. I sure am. Not, no I am. <laughs> and switch. Switching arms, switching arms. So you think that she's paying me, but she's actually getting this for free. It's a good deal, folks. $200 value. This could be you once quarantine's over. 
I'm just selling it hard. Now the next one is a little bit complicated. I know for a fact that you're gonna be able to do it right. I've taught them before. All right, and relax. So you're gonna have both hands down. So watch me first do it. So I'm here, right? I'm in crawl, and I wanna have that nice posture. So I'm tucked, chin. Now I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together and then push apart and squeeze my shoulder blades together and push apart. This is, this is a push up plus, they call that. You're working your shoulder blades and a lot of time what people do is, yeah, they start to bend their elbows. Don't bend your elbows at all. There you go, nice. And then coming up, good. We're preparing for push up. Yes, there are push ups today, as promised. I didn't even promise you guys push ups, but in my head I promised you guys push ups. All right, let's go up and down. So this is the action of your scapula. It's called scaption. Yes, physical therapist, this is not the only form of scaption. This is also a form of scaption. Three, two, and we're gonna come back to our little scapular action, the scaption. I know, what are we gonna do? All right, we're going back to the rows, but now we're gonna do them in bird dog. Bird dog rows, we did these last week. This is another one of my foundations, fundamentals world's greatest exercises. All right, so she's gonna go right leg out. We're gonna go right leg out. You're gonna grab the dumbbell with your left hand. Left hand, right leg, boom, and you're gonna go up and down and curl, and curl, and curl. Guess what you're gonna do with your neck? Tighten up and squeeze it. No, I'm just kidding. Good, breathe, 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 breathe. There you go. Good, looks good, looks good, looks good. And go ahead, switching sides, folks. Switching sides, switching sides. Very nice. She's doing good, looks good, looks good. See how the next relax, the shoulder blades moving. Oh, good, and recover, very nice. All right, we're gonna work that scapular action, that scaption on our forearms, okay? In my mind, I'm like, God, I'm probably pissing off some physical therapist. All right, coming down under your forearms, some, some bio, biomechanician, is that even a thing? All right, so we're gonna be in beginning plank. So this, obviously your hips are way too high, so go ahead, bring your knees away. No, no, knees down though, knees down. So beginning plank, knees are down. Now she's gonna squeeze her shoulder blades together and then push her shoulder blades apart. This is called a plank push-up. The plank push-up, right? It's a similar movement with the shoulder blades. We're retracting the shoulder blades, the action of the scapula. Scaption. I'm gonna stop saying that, <laughs> even though it's funny to me. All right, let's go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So this is going to practice. Obviously, you're working your core. We did planks yesterday. It is okay to do planks two days in a row, but this is mostly a back workout. You probably feel a lot in your arms. Do you feel a lot in your arms? She feels a lot in her arms. That was the moan of three, two, and now you're gonna flop on your stomach with a lot of grace. Flop. Okay. All right, so this is called a A, the alphabet series. So she's gonna bring her hands at her sides. We're, I keep saying her, were, we. All right, now you're gonna make like a little A. So your hands are gonna be right. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together. Not your head, just your shoulder blades. Your head should not move. That's a lot of people do. Your head should not move. Shoulder blades together and then lift your hands up. No, no, straight up. Not your head, just your hands and your shoulder blades. So perfect example right here. We're struggling to get this. First of all, your arms need to stay Right here, you're gonna go straight up. Shoulder blades together first, shoulder blades together first, then here, chin down. So you'll notice she's squeezing her neck a lot. Coming up and down, coming up, there it is, chin down. When I do these, I'll put my forehead literally on the mat like that. There you go. Now we're gonna add that thoracic extension, what she wanted to do. So here's what you do. First is you squeeze your shoulder blades together, lifting your hands up. Now you're gonna lift your chest as high as it goes. And you can see her lifting her chin down. See how she pulled her chin up like that? And relax. Now you see why she uses her neck. All right, here we go. Hands back, shoulder blades together, and lift. If you train with me, folks, I have extremely high standards. That's just how I roll. And go squeezing up. There you go. I have the same standards for you, even though we're working at home together. Up and squeeze. Now, while we're doing this, is we're preparing for what's called a cobra push up. Okay, so what she can do is she can bring her hands underneath her shoulders. Now, when people do a cobra push-up, the first thing to do is they use their arms, right? Don't use your arms, use your back muscles first. So imagine lifting your T-spine, lifting your mid-back, and then using your hands, right? So what you're doing is you're lifting your back first and then using your hands, okay, and back down. So lift your back first, and then push your hands up, all the way up, there you go. So when Brian Campbell, throw out Brian Campbell, world's greatest yoga teacher, he would have us do this, we would lift our back first, then put our hands down. 
I find that to be a little, no, 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 no. See, that's a little too complicated. All right, and chest up here, glute pushing back. Boom, so this is a cobra push-up. We're gonna turn this now into a modified body sauce. You're gonna lift up, cobra push-up, and you're gonna lift the hips up. Remember body sauce from yesterday? All right, so we're gonna go down the same way. You're gonna drop your hips down, hips down first, into cobra. No, that was baby cobra. And then back, there you go, and then roll down. Hips first, and then down all the way. Good. All right, so let's walk it through. You're gonna lift your chest up, cobra push up. Well, she's ahead of me. Drop your hips, then roll down into cobra. Good, all the way down. And then cobra up, lift, cobra push up, and then lift the hips up. Nice, and then back down. Good, and then up. Keep working these. This is a modified body saw. It's, there you go, and down. And then we're gonna come up. Last one, we're gonna go into child's pose. Good, pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. Like, geez, how are we doing so far? How are you doing so far, are you good? Ugh. Hanging in there, tired yet? Yeah. <laughs> Getting a little tired. Nope, not a water break yet. We got one more. We're gonna work into a modified side plank row. This is borderline level two here. All right, so you're gonna be in side plank, grab your weight. So let's go on our left side, okay? You're gonna be on the left side, you're gonna be in side plank. I do recommend having your knees down. See how the weight's in her right arm? So you're gonna come into side plank. Now what you're, no, knees down. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna take that weight, pull it up, pull it down, pull it up. Don't extend it all the way up, just your elbow. Don't, don't shoulder press it. Okay. Just like that, there you go. And you're just rolling your shoulder back, boom. This is a way, yes, to work your side plank, but you're also working that shoulder blade muscle. You're pulling it back, retracting the scapula, working on that posture. Stay in side plank, folks, challenge yourself. Go ahead, pause the video. No, I don't know how you would pause the video. <laughs> Call your workout partner to pause the video. Good. All right, and relax. All right, obviously we're gonna do the other side. She's going to, yes, sponsored by America. Let's go. All right, so knees are down, right? Hips are up, necks relaxed, and let's go ahead and start working the other side. You want the dumbbell to touch the ground, but you're not bouncing, you're not smashing the dumbbell off. Boom, and boom. Looking good, looking good. In the red shirt video, well at this point, well, you could still, after the next water break, you could still go to the redshirt video. Come on, let's go. We working. We working. Good. Keep going. And relax. So right about now is when everybody wants a water break. So we go, nope, no water break yet. Trickery. We're going to work your push-ups. All right, let's go push-ups. All right, so this get rid of the word up. We should, this should be called control down. So watch. Just to show them that version where you go all the way down. She can actually do the push-ups, which is good. She's been working for a while. Show them the other version where you cobra up. So less, you're gonna go down slow, and then you're gonna cobra up. That's level one, okay? Everyone should be able to do that using the word should, right? Cobraing up, relax your neck. Cobraing up. But once you get good enough, you can go ahead and start working the push-up on your knees, going all the way down, pushing up. It's not about the up, folks. It's about the down, right? There's no point in doing a push-up if you only go two centimeters down. You want to go all the way down. She's going to keep working. You're going to keep working. I'm going to put the timer on for 15 seconds, okay? Non-stop. We've already been working for 20 seconds. Let's go. And while we do that, I'm going to do this crazy dance move. It's <laughs> pretty good, huh? I know. Well, you, hopefully you're working on your push-ups not watching me do this. And recover. All right, go ahead, stop the video here, folks. Second water break. If you want to jump to that red shirt video now, go ahead. If you're feeling really, really, really good. Actually, no. Don't go from the blue shirt to the black shirt. I'm still learning here. So go ahead, pause the video. We're going to get that water break, and then we're going to go to the standing exercises. One. All right, welcome back, folks. We're going to do a little scenario. Let's say you have fallen onto your stomach. You didn't do your fall prevention. So what's going to happen? is from here, you're gonna cobra up, right? You're not gonna do this perfect push-up to come up. You're gonna cobra up, and you're gonna lift your hips to get onto your knees. So you're gonna crawl. Once you're in crawl, you've got a couple different options. I'm gonna show you what I think is the most common option, and that is you step forward with one of your legs, right here, and then you're gonna bring your weight onto your, no, 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 that's the harder version. You're gonna lift your back leg up, runner's lunge, and then kind of walk, 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 walk. Good, that was that was a complicated version. Let me show you what I meant. Here, so I'm here, I'm in one leg like this, I'm gonna lift this back leg up, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna stand up like that. She went to the walkout version. That's also very common when you're on your stomach, and that was an exercise we did yesterday. So are you gonna, what are you gonna show them? I'm showing them like you 
Oh, the one I did. So you're going to step forward with the leg. Boom. The knee comes up. And then you just kind of. So yet again, she. That's the hardest version. That's called the split squat. <laughs> nice try. Okay. Well, good to see you. High five. She always leaves me hanging. All right. So let's go ahead and grab your weights, folks. Go ahead and grab your weights. You're going to need two weights. That's why I said you need two weights. You're going you're gonna to use eight pounders? Oh. Well, That's fine. You, you can say yeah. that. It makes me think I should. I know. I make the them fire. nervous. All right. So you're gonna stand here. You can face the camera. I'm gonna show them. You wanna stand and tuck your hips underneath, and we're gonna do some curl. And from curl, we're gonna go shoulder press. Okay. Curl and shoulder press. One. Look. Next, relax. You wanna keep that posture underneath you. You're not just standing with the arched back. Conscious posture. Good holding. That's why we worked that horse stance so much, folks. This is the horse stance, by the way. Oh yeah. All right, so we're getting the biceps. We haven't worked too many biceps. We're getting the shoulders round two. Good, good, good. Upper body strength training, folks. Nice. Hey, if you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. You're doing super good. She's going to get a couple more reps, and then we're going to work what's called a bent over row. Good. Let's get a few more. If you're going quick, that's fine. If you're going slow, that is also fine. This is your workout. All right, so she's not going to go. She's going to face the camera, but you want to get in this position where you're bent over, your chest is down. It's like ski jumper we were doing yesterday. So here, and you're going to row the weights up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. No, that's a kickback this way, straight up. Oh, this way. Yeah, there you go. She did the kickback. We're also going to do kickbacks today. So right here, now look, she's not letting your arms go straight. You want to let your arms go all the way to straight, rowing back. There it is. Nice job. Good. Coming up. Nice. So you're working those back muscles again. You're also working your hamstrings. You're working your core muscles. That's why it's a nice little modified position. Good. And now she's going to stand up. We're going to go for another set of curl and shoulder press. This is one of our foundation fundamental exercises as well, the curl and shoulder press. You're working the biceps right here. And then as you're coming up, you're working the shoulder press. And it actually is a stretch. Shout out to my client, Blenda. We had to work a long time to get your arms to be able to go overhead. And like I said, if you can weight lift with your arms all the way out straight, you don't necessarily need to stretch your arms out very much because this is a stretch. Hashtag strengthen and lengthen. Now it's Monday's workout. All right, let's go back to the bent over row. So coming down, bending over, last set of bent over rows. And then we're going to do a couple tricep exercises and then balance. I got a request. We're going to start doing balance every single workout. Why? Because it tended to be the most important aspect, especially with our more mature adults. How was that? Pretty good. All right. Now from here, look, I want you to hold the weight, elbows up, and you're going to kick back straight with the arms kicking back straight. So here, boom, back. Okay. I'm going to do it with my one five pound dumbbell here. I'm kicking back. Good. I'm kicking back. Woo. Those kickbacks. Just one set, we're gonna do a lot of reps, keep working kickbacks, relax your neck, really extend. This one, the eight pound dumbbells are a challenge. If you have twos, I repeat, use your two pounders, it's okay. You can use the two pounders. We're gonna get you the three pounder soon though. Good, keep working it, keep working. I want those arms on fire. This is gonna be our last exercise of the weight, so let's work it. Let's keep pushing ourselves, bang, 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 bang. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't you dare stop, I can see you somehow. Maybe one day. Three, two, and relax. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna ditch the mats. This is the best part of the workout. Throw it! <laughs> Hell yeah, Sarah, get out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sarah, I just, just, I just punted you out of the workout. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's do a little upper body, okay? A little upper body and a little bounce. So what I wanna show you, my mom's gonna work here with me, is we're gonna push forward with our arms and we're working this push okay now it's not a soft hand you want to push out you want to get some weight in your arms like you're pushing somebody over in tai chi they call it yang style yang is when you're pushing against making isometric tension so if i came over and pocked you in the elbows you're good now how we're gonna make this balance exercise is we're gonna push and as we push we're going to step this is a step and push and i'm gonna step back together okay you want to go slow keep going pushing out Stepping in recovery. You want to slow yourself down. Not only are we working balance, we're working coordination. Good. Now, if you're a more advanced student, you go ahead and push hard with the arms. If you're still learning, not fast, hard. Fast is good too. Now, if you can see, you don't want to get into this position. That's a compromised position. I want to be still up straight. You don't want to lean. There you go. Are you alternating your legs? No. She was not alternating legs. If you were not alternating legs, that is okay. Just go ahead and do the other side. Stretching in position, good. Stretching. 
Very nice. So I'm going to work out of this posture again. We're going to we're going to increase the balance a little bit more. Okay, good. Relax. So what you're going to do is from here is you're going to bring your arms up, bring your legs up like they're connected on a string. Pause, step and press. And then I'm going to step back and return. The advanced class, the leg would come back up. So I'm coming up, stepping forward, press, and stepping up. So go ahead and keep working that. I'm going to explain what's going on. Obviously, you're getting that single leg balance. But as you're stepping forward, you're actually transferring force into the leg. You never know when you need to push. Karate chop judo stop someone. There you go. Good. Work your balance. Go slow, folks. Go slow, go slow. See, she's rushing a little bit. You got to go slower. Stick. Stepping forward. Wow. Nice. So, as I was talking about yesterday, this is an example of dynamic balance. We're doing two things at the same time. You're not just standing statically. Good. <laughs> you got it. Oh, hey. There. What's up, live training? Not everything's perfect. Good. Okay. And then let's do one more each side. One more each side, and then we're going to end with a little ballet, balance, and then some cool down breathing, okay? Very nice. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with ballet. It's my, it's my dream here. All right, so here we're going to be in that first position. Now, for the ballet balance, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our arms here, and then we're going to bring our arms up. You know? Now, she's good. she got that nice posture. Stomach's in. Next, relax. Now, from here, hold your arms up. You're going to lift onto your toes, and then down, and then lift, and then down. You want to squeeze your thighs together, keeping your arms up. Good. And down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Now, as we go up, you're going to open your arms, and down, and open. And look at me. As you go down, you open. Up is open, down is together. 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 Good, one more, and relax. So I said cool down breathing. Hello, cool down stretches. All right, standing stretches out first. Go ahead, grab your fingers and pull them back. While you guys are stretching, remember, you want to hold the stretches 10, 15 seconds, 20, 30 seconds. Sure, it's a little bit, uh, what's the word? It's a little long, it's a little long. And switching legs. In tomorrow's workout, Wacky Wild Wednesdays, we are going to do a little bit more of deep stretching, so the stretching will be a little bit longer. Reason is you want to stretch out actually your tendons and the deep muscle fibers. Good, now from here, hands behind the neck, just like we started, pulling the elbows back. Didn't we do this when we started? I think. Tucking underneath, good. Now from here, right, I'm a little teapot, dipping to the side, side dip. Breathe, good. Other side, go slow, go slow. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. This, the schematics of being an actual teapot. All right, so good. Now let's do a shoulder stretch across the body. Shoulder stretch across the body. So this is a new format, folks. We're gonna run with this format. I think it is more acceptable my mom's also getting her workouts in. I think it helps you guys understand a little bit better. So go out, so give yourself a round of applause. Nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. Best set, last set. Best set, last set. Okay, good. All right, so with that, the workout is complete. Please do not turn this off. I'm just going to give you a little bit of announcement of what's going on. We're working hard to get these videos as high quality as possible. Like I said, my mom is now joining me. This is because I've gotten feedback from people. So please, you can message me on Facebook, Instagram. If you have my phone number, text me. Also, if you want to be added to a list of people I am texting, these workouts to you can go ahead and get my number from somebody or hit me up on Facebook hit me on Instagram I can add you to that list and I will send you the video direct 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 okay I was not expecting this to get so popular so fast I'm super blessed and super grateful that people are joining along and like I said oh Sarah's back it is a tricky time for us all so if you're watching these videos you knew what was going on during this time so we're trying to make the best of that situation and she's back do you want to say something I just want to shout out to Sarah who I haven't seen any of my friends really forever Shout out to you. Stay strong. Keep workouts going, okay? All right, folks. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate that. All right. See you tomorrow.